Oh, again, YouTube land. You know, I, I've been wanting to do a video on FEMA for a long time. But I'm going to call them schema. Because when you do a video on schema and it's negative, they always take it down. But schema is one of the most worthless agencies the US Jew Inc. sinks money into and no one knows where it all goes. It was a few years ago they what lost 65 million or was that 65 billion dollars? And FEMA oh schema schema is guilty of racketeering. And a lot of other RICO charges. And we've said this many times. Individuals, citizens in the U.S., probably outside the U.S. too, but I'm sure about that one, can sue individuals and charging them with the, under the RICO Act. Kushner versus Don King. They, um, Kushner appealed the Don King ruling so many times, he finally got his way. But what FEMA does is they take your tax dollars and lend you back your money plus interest. That's racketeering. And then you have to use your own money they're charging you interest with to make the repairs they say you're supposed to be making. It falls under uh, organized crime racketeering. And schema sometimes won't even give your own, your own tax money to you. Because allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly, I don't have the paperwork in front of me, and I can't flash to it. Allegedly, schema is an Israeli agency. Now, I believe that. Because Jimmy Carter was instructed by Israel to have a FEMA agency. And allegedly, it was set up to laundry money into Israel. Now, I believe that too. So, what we the people need to do is first of all, agree that all Americans that are in disasters, that have their homes ruined, must have their homes and their belongings, you know, your basic belongings like a bed, your children's bed, or a crib, or a couch, those sorts of things that you lost, replace for free. Because somehow the insurance companies get out of paying it, paying for it. So Americans stop losing their land and their homes. Because even though it's your tax money, FEMA is lending to you, plus interest. On some people, especially those on Social Security, disability Social Security, on retirement, fixed incomes, they come back and ask you to pay them back. And then when you can't pay it back, I mean in a lump sum, then when you can't pay them back, they take your land. Now who do you think is behind that? I'll give you one guess. Because all you have to do is look who bought the par properties. The same way what happened in um, the California dew fires. I'm not even going to insult it calling it a campfire because that was not a campfire. You have to be a blithering idiot to believe that was a campfire. I mean, this is what I mean. How they don't even try to make their lies sensible. Or do weapons use, a forest fire, 
never melts cars tires just like jet fuel doesn't burn and turn uh, steel into gelatin the Israeli gelatin bombs the same ones they used uh, when they bombed uh, that hotel or was it a it was a hotel or was it a um, an embassy but I think it was a hotel they built uh, bombed in Palestine they used the improved gelatin bombs on the Twin Towers the art students because they placed them above and below because they had access on the floors above the people and then when they melted the steel beams melted with that gelatin it would collapse the whole building in any event I, I was talking about schema um, it's hard to find out how they're registered it's kind of like if you look up North Korea the US has it registered as a corporation <laughs> and knock your socks off I mean, these people I mean where do they come from I mean seriously politicians they have to be hatched on a politician farm somewhere have their brain sucked out and replaced with another brain that is obviously not human and lately whatever brains they're replacing them with they're not even good liars anymore now Trump is a good actor I will give him that he's the best actor and president that the country's seen in a long time and y'all know Israel killed JFK and there was a good video out on that just recently I have to provide a link but anyways that's something to think about with um, schema and I really do wish Americans would come together and agree if US Jewing can give Israel billions over 100 billion a year you only heard about 38 billion but believe me it's 100 billion or more and Trump wants to increase it to what 717 billion or was it million but the 717 is a Kabbalah gematria number just like the earthquake that hit California today it was at 1006 they had to publish 1006 that's also a Kabbalah gematria code mm, 1006 I believe is like a victory code for them because just like they're trying to do to Palestine with this peace plan and we already published the plans uh, under bombshell I'm going to offer them all this land in a um, two solution state which the UN gave them eons ago it was uh, under UN resolution 194 Israel just didn't ever stick to it they were already declared a two two state because it was Palestine and the Queen just gave the those lazy demons um, land so they could call it a state they never had fought and bled like all the other countries uh, to call a piece of land theirs they just begged for it just like they begged for everything in any event I forgot what I was going to say and this, that's terrible because I was on a roll well my point is is that we need to come together over this these FEMA loans we need to start suing these people into the poorhouse individually and the same goes for those in Congress that are passing unconstitutional laws 
Well, our Constitution says they need to be removed immediately and fined. And RIF, R, RF, those stupid chips, R, RFID chips, <laughs> sorry, I forgot a second. That is also a violation under the RICO Act. And when FEMA says, uh, you have to have a vaccine or we're not going to help you. What is that? That's a violation under the RICO Act. And we also need to come together and agree that all disasters home, homes, backdating to, I guess, K Katrina, that they be rebuilt for free. Again, a hundred billion dollars would more than take care of that. Thanks for listening.